Hi everyone, it's Melissa from Peace Knots. Today I'm here to show you how to make super simple ear wires to complement your beautiful earring creations. So the supplies that are needed are your nylon jaw pliers. This is used to straighten your wire. Chain nose pliers. Bale shaping pliers. Flush cutters, these are used to cut your wire. This is a 20 gauge antique copper color wire from Beadsmith. This is a dead soft wire. I like to use dead soft when I am practicing and for beginners, but I highly recommend if you're wanting a finished piece to go along with your earring creations to use half hard. Half hard is just um, sturdier and keeps its shape um, longer. You are going to need a file. This is used at the very end to file the ends of your wire so that it doesn't hurt your ears. You'll need a bench block shown here and then a chasing hammer. Last but not least, you will need a ruler. So to get started, you're gonna wanna measure out with your ruler three inches of wire, two pieces. I've already done that for ease. So again, they measure the same at three inches. Then you're going to take your um, bale shaping plier and the two tips, even though they look very similar to the naked eye, um, if you look closer, this side is actually bigger than this side. So I want the bigger side. So I'm putting it on um, facing me and you're going to take your wire at the very end and just place it like so. Then you're going to create a circle just by simply pressing the wire forward with the beauty of dead soft is is as it implies it is softer so it's easier to manipulate and as you can see I created a circle here and I want to close that so I just take the other side and just simply press a little bit harder to close that circle like so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Choose either end. And again, I want the side, the larger side facing me. Place your wire like so and create that circle by simply pushing the wire. Again, it's going to create a gap, so I'm going to want to close that like so. So you have two pieces of wire with loops at the end. Now you can create larger loops, smaller hoops. It really depends on your finished piece. This is the side that um, the ear, the earring actually hangs from. So I like to personally make mine a little bit bigger, um, but sometimes I have smaller pieces, so it just depends. So you're gonna grab both sets of wire. And I just wanna straighten this a little bit cause it's got like a little bit of a curvature. So I'm just taking my nylon jaw pliers and just kind of moving down the wire to kind of get that curvature out of there. So take your two pieces of wire and put the loops together. And place them towards the back of your bale shaping plier like so, together. And kind of with a firm grip, hold them down 
and create a circle like so and pull out. So see how it creates a loop the same for both of them. So that's why you want to do them together because you want both of your earrings to have the same curvature. So now we're going to cut. I like to cut about a little bit down from the loop, but again, it's just personal preference, how long you want your earrings to um, uh, rest outside of the ear. So I just cut off. And then I take my chain nose pliers and I just take the chain nose and put it towards the end and just very gently pull up. And all it does is kind of create that bend here. It gives a nice little finishing touch. Again, you take your chain nose pliers and just hold it at the end and gently pull up. It's not forceful, it's just gentle and it creates that little tip at the end. So now we need to use our file and just go back and forth at the very end and just feel it with your finger and test it with your ear. See if it hurts to get inside your earring hole. You don't have to do it for very long. So now I'm gonna take my bench block So it's a little bit hard to see um, with the camera angle, but my earring is not laying completely flat. So that's why we use the chasing hammer to just gently tap on the earring front side and back side, like so, just a little bit of a tap. Flip it over, another little tap and it just allows the earring to lay flat. And then you do it with the other side. You can hold it with your finger if you want. Okay. So there are your very easy to make ear wires Thank you so much. I hope you uh, subscribe and visit the peaceknotsjewelry.com. Thank you. Have a great day.